Yo, what's going on everyone? Emo Carbills back here again with another video. Today we'll be installing uh, the Buddy Club tail lights from my Subi. So today's going to be very exciting. New lights, you know what I'm saying? New tail lights. So I got ahead of myself and I accidentally already opened the box. Had to make sure everything came out good, you know what I'm saying? But here you go. Look at them. Don't they look nice? Shoosh. Compared to the old. So the reason, main reason why I got new tail lights because the, uh, the old one, you see, it got oxidated. So water got in it. So all the moisture is in there. And it honestly looks very, very bad compared to the other one that looks freaking awesome. So, But it was time. You know what I'm saying? It was time for new lights. But dang. They no joke. So the install shouldn't be that... Uh, Shouldn't be a big job. They give you a nice little guide right here. It's actually pretty. It's, it's pretty good because it explains everything in detail. But it's very good. Um, the only thing is, I've already changed the LED flasher for my car when I put LEDs in the back and in the front. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to use this flasher that they provide you with. But we're gonna see. Just to make sure I'm gonna do all the steps. Just to make sure I don't need it or if I do need it. But other than that, it doesn't hurt. So like I said, guys, uh, you do have to take the flasher if you don't have already put a flasher in the car. Uh, it's pretty, pretty, you have to go unclip here, the trim, and then you unclip here, right here at the bottom, and you have to change a flasher, take out the flasher, yep. but like I said, I had already done that prior to this video, before I even had the uh, tail lights, I had already got uh, LEDs. Fog lights for the front and LED turn signal uh, light bulbs for the headlights. So when I bought those, I, when I bought those, I made sure I bought the flashers that way they could cooperate with the OEM system. So like I said, that's pretty much it. So first step we gotta do, guys, is we gotta remove the pins right here. One, two, three. And then we gotta remove the ones that are up here as well. One. One. These the ones up top too. Two, the other one up top, three, and that should be all just to so get access to the back of the tail light. All right, guys, now that you got all the pins over right here. And you got the pins out of the, uh, the right side. You just go ahead and these are, you got to take out four bolts. You got the eight millimeters. Make sure you get a deep socket eight millimeter. And you got to make sure you clip this part. And yeah, just take out the wiring. And the tail light should come off. There we go guys, so she's all out now. Woo. Yeah, we got to clean this up a little bit. Oh, I still got the... Yep, she's gonna need a little touch up. A little touch up. So, a little hint for you guys when you guys have something like this that you want to get rid of or make it look just like clean, make sure you just use a rag, clean rag, spray a little a couple of spray wax, and then just apply. It's gonna start coming off right away. Look at that gunk. See, almost like new. Like I said, just a couple of spray wax and a clean rag, and you get all that dirt off. Just like that. Alright guys, she's all in. Just gotta tighten up the bolts, connect the wires, and let's see what happens. There you go guys, we got power! <laughs> so the cool thing is, in the back of the switch right here, in the back of each uh, headlight, I mean not headlight, but tail light, You'll see a switch. I don't know if you can see it right there. Try to see if you can see it. There's like a switch, an on and off switch. 
And basically what it does is it will change it from this, the streaming tail lights, to the single. But I prefer the streaming. It just looks a lot better. So now you do the same thing you did to the right side, to the left. But the one thing I did find uh, different was you gotta remove two of them, two of these little clips right here. Let's see if this thing focus. Two of these little clips. You got one, one here at the end, and then you have another one that's up here at the top. Those two. But the one thing I did use to take them off was uh, I used a panel trim remover, and one thing I did was just scoop it in this way, and then just clip it, just go like this, pull it out, and it's gonna come off. And then it's the same thing as the other side. You got four eight millimeter sockets you gotta take out. Put them back together. Don't forget to put these four clips back in here. Got the one right here. One here. The other one here. The other one there. There you guys have it guys buddy tail lights led all right thank you guys again for watching hopefully you guys find this video helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up make sure to like and subscribe and she's getting there little by little baby steps but it's a marathon not a sprint so thank you guys again for watching and until next time peace